State lawmakers and community leaders have heard protesters demands and are also now taking action. The group of Democratic Iowa representatives and community leaders unveiled their more perfect union plan, as they call it, outside the state capitol this morning. Local 5's Lake and McGee tells us what the plan sets out to accomplish. I'm here at the Iowa State Capitol where I talked with protesters. I talked with those that were speaking. They say that the work is not yet done and that there needs to be focused action with three simple steps that need to take place. Ban police chokeholds. Make it illegal to rehire police fire for misconduct. Allow the attorney general to investigate police misconduct. These are the three proposals in the more perfect union plan. If you really want us to stop protesting, you will take legislation like this seriously. You will take action and you will pass it. Different state lawmakers spoke saying this plan is aimed at preventing violent conflicts between law enforcement and Iowa residents. The proposals that are being forward are common sense. They should be bipartisan. And there is other existing legislation that has already been filed that should be taken up and passed before this legislature adjourns. Many in the crowd spoke of their experience with racism. For the last 15 years, I have witnessed black men, women, and children being followed and harassed for simply being black. You know, we're getting a number of people who are asking what they can do, and what they can do is pass legislation that, um, like what was mentioned here today. With applause and calling out for justice, many say the time for action is now. Because we are not going to stop until we see real action. Now there are ways you can help support the more perfect union plan. Head on over to our website, weareiowa.com. Click on the story. There is going to be a link for a petition that you can sign. Reporting at the Iowa State Capitol, Lake and McGee, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. So as you saw there, one proposal within that plan is making it illegal to rehire police officers fired for misconduct. State Representative Zach Walls says last year there was disagreement between the Cedar County Sheriff and a local police department about rehiring an officer who had been accused of previous misconduct. Who had not just allegations of misconduct, but indeed recorded video of that misconduct in his file. But because people were willing to look the other way, he was hired into a position on a police force.